Hi, I'm Brigadier General Linda Singh, Maryland Army National Guard Commander. September is Suicide Prevention Month and Awareness. And one of the things that I would like to be able to get across to, to all of you is that, first off, suicide is preventable. There are nearly 40,000 individuals that die each year from suicides. And that's one of the things that we need to focus on as a society. But what's even more importantly and closer to my heart right now is the suicide of our soldiers and what's going on with them. So one of the things I'm asking everyone to, to think about is that when you are with an individual or you have uh, individuals in your units and you see changes in behaviors, you see where they're actually saying you know, goodbye, they're actually calling their family members, they're talking about their insurance and trying to look at what they have in terms of coverage. Uh, you need to be thinking about what they're going through and try to figure out why they're asking these questions that may be somewhat unusual. If they've gone through traumatic life events where they've had loss or they've had a job or, or that they've lost or they've got other things that's going on in their life that could be causing them to go through a lot of stress. And even now, as we look at the different things with our budget that may be adding the stress to an individual's life, we need to be thinking about what that's doing to an individual at a personal level. And if that's causing them to change their behaviors, then we need to ask the question whether or not they need to seek help. And when I think about if an individual needs to seek help, it's more than just asking them. It's maybe digging a little deeper. It's maybe doing a little more prompting in terms of the questions. But then it may also be asking them to go and uh, see the chaplain. Maybe they need to seek outside resources. I think one of the things that we need to focus on is the stigmas in and around someone being able to come forth saying that they need help. We need to get rid of that. There is absolutely nothing wrong when someone needs to come forward and say that they need help because they're having suicidal thoughts. I would much rather have that individual come forward and we can help them through this and we can help them through the troubled times than to have them be a casualty to something that's now becoming a systemic within our environment. So if you think about what your individual soldiers are going through and even your family members, just remember that suicide is preventable there are ways that they can actually get support. They can actually call the hotline. They can actually reach out to the chaplain. Call or escort them to an emergency room or even a counseling service. And if it is an emergency, you need to call 911. And so if I think about the most important thing, the most important thing is you, the individual, getting the help that you need so that we can make sure that we all stick together at a time where something is starting to be a systemic problem that we need to deal with as a nation. And so with that, make sure that you understand suicide is preventable. It's something that we can combat together and we are going to win at this. Thank you.